What's up? How are you guys this week? As usual, it is Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. Honestly surprised I'm not in Mexico or Colombia yet. Funny story, uh, one of the guys that fixed my uh, machine once, he's actually Colombian, he had like a place on a beach in Colombia and offered me to come stay there. But with how much he charged me to fix the machine, I'm surprised he didn't pay for my plane ticket and a few girls to play with while I was there. Uh, but uh, I guess back to business, so. Uh, a few things this week, guys. We got some restocks, as always, some stuff to talk about. Uh, post office just came, picked up all the eggs, all the other orders, so you guys should have those early this week. Uh, we're still waiting on some more pre-orders for the fresh beef share. It was supposed to actually ship last week, but it looks like we're gonna have to wait another week or two. If not, I'm just gonna have to get it, and, and hopefully you guys buy the rest of it when it comes in. Eggs and dairy still going strong. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second, but uh, I guess we'll just hop in the fridge, show you guys what's new on the meat end of things. Last week, all the glands came back in. Uh, we got some thyroid glands over here, some of the adrenal glands over here, beef ovaries over here. We got a few whole tenderloin rows. So I guess biggest thing this week is we got the price on the veal brains back down to something reasonable, around $20 each. I know a lot of you guys like this stuff. Hopefully my guys don't give you the bigger ones on accident. Yeah, these are packaged about three quarters of a pound, 0.75. Showed you guys last week, we got the delicious Iberico pork plain and breakfast sausages. Both of these are really, really amazing, guys, if you haven't tried them. We did get some goat testicles in and packaged them individually. Uh, so these are much more affordable than the beef testicles. They're priced way lower per pound, and they are also smaller. So if you want to spend about $4 for more convenience, we do have these available on the website. The veal sweetbreads are back in stock. Culinary delicacy. And we showed you guys the new beef share last week as well. You get hot dogs, spice sausage, plain sausage, scrapple, bologna, six pounds of meat for like $7 a pound, which is crazy. Beef prostate glands, definitely a unique product if you want to uh, give your wife or girlfriend, significant other, a little bit of a workout. Also restock some porterhouse steaks this week. Uh, these are awesome guys. They're around 1.2 pounds each, one inch thick cut porterhouse T-bone steaks. Very affordable. Yeah, so not too much going on on the meat end of things. Yeah, so hopefully we get a few more pre-orders on the fresh beef share and we can bring it in in about two weeks. And then uh, if we can get the farmer to find a, a source of good pork, then we could do another pork share. And the sooner you guys buy the regular beef share too, then we can do the sausage products again and sell them individually. Into the cooler, we have way too many eggs, to be honest. Um, duck eggs did restock this week, but I think we're sold out. We do have plenty of chicken eggs. So you guys know with like the egg fiasco and all that stuff, we never increased our prices, but the egg sales did go up substantially. So our farmer was able to give us more eggs, but now that kind of died down a little bit. Plus we got the duck eggs in too, you know, another few hundred dozen per week. So um, if you guys need eggs, whatever, if you've had problems with past orders, whether the eggs are broken, we always issue refunds. You guys just email us, tell us how many eggs are broken, we issue a credit. Or if they didn't get there fast enough, hey, we might have to switch to FedEx with the eggs, but I don't wanna to have to tell the farmer that we don't need as many eggs because um, you know, we are supporting the local businesses. We wanna to continue to grow with them and um, provide an actual high quality product, the corn and soy free chicken eggs and duck eggs. Maybe we'll do a video uh, this week comparing them. I was a little upset last week. You guys bought all the roast beef, so I couldn't have any for dinner, but uh, <laughs> Now we are all roast beefed out. I'm glad you guys are buying this product. And the nice thing about roast beef is, you know, if you're lonely, sometimes the grass-fed roast beef has a little bit of a fishy taste to it. So, you know, fishy roast beef reminds me a little bit of the New York City girl. I'm, I'm sorry, that was a horrible joke. I had to make it. The grass-fed beef doesn't actually taste fishy, guys. I just wanted to make the crude joke. It's really, really delicious stuff. I could eat like a whole package at once. It's really, really good. And for me, what's really been a lifesaver this week is the water kefir grains. And of course, our water kefir. Now I took a break for a little while from the water kefir just because I thought I didn't really need it and my sleep got so bad. Like, I couldn't figure out what it is. I wasn't sleeping for like three weeks, didn't have one good night of sleep. And then yesterday, had the water kefir again, water kefir grains completely clocked me out. I felt so much better. And I've said it before, like the water kefir has really been a key part of me fixing my gut health. And I'm clearly still at a point where you know, if I don't have the quality probiotics in my diet at least a few times a week, it just doesn't work. And I mean, if you actually look at indigenous cultures and all these groups of people, every single one of them for the most part did have 
like a fermented probiotic drink that they consumed frequently in some capacity. So it's not like it's an unnatural thing to consistently have in your diet. And the water kefir that we make is the highest quality that exists. You know, it, it, guys, I'm honestly losing my mind making this stuff every week because we keep everything in glass. We use very expensive bottled mineral water. We're using the highest quality organic sugars and syrups and fruits and stuff. It's organic lemons and limes delivered every week. It's a lot, a lot of work. No one else is making this product, so buy it before I lose my mind. Organ supplements, nothing new really going on. Um, we did a few videos like over the past few months showing you guys the new supplement line, all that stuff. So definitely check that out if you're interested. I take the minerals and especially the B vitamins on a daily basis. Yeah, I take a lot of the B complex and then usually with every meal, I'm taking like B1, B2, as well as B3 and I kind of interchange between them. So B vitamins are definitely important if you're drinking a lot of water kefir to kind of counteract the alcohol and keep your liver functioning high. Wi-Fi shielding, you guys know I'm always wearing like the Wi-Fi shielding hat that has the silver on the inside, mainly because I need to comb my hair in the morning. I'm always wearing the, you know, the Wi-Fi shielding clothing, all black. And uh, we do have a few canopies left, I think. Yeah, we got, we got the twin, we got the queen, and we got some king canopies. We are out of floor mats, so we might have to get more of those. Uh, Frankie's Naturals, honestly, I might contact like a manufacturer and uh, we might get some nice packaging done for some of these products because, you know, it's all homemade stuff. It's the highest quality minimalist ingredients, but uh, it's not necessarily what people want. Honestly, guys, at this point, I was supposed to have this like beautiful Russian wife that had her own cosmetic line so I wouldn't have to, <laughs> to make this stuff, you know? Uh, and I think a female would be more appealing for the cosmetic stuff, but go figure. I have to get a, you know what? Maybe I'll get some of my Chinese buddies to make it for me and then they'll send over a Chinese wife with the shipment. You know, it's funny because like I was messaging them and I was like dead serious. I was like, you have a Chinese wife for me, please hook me up with a date. And they just ignored it because they, they don't want some dirty American spoiling their Chinese princesses. I don't mean spoiling as in like, um, like giving them money. I mean like spoiling them as in like tarnishing them, if that makes sense. Guys, my brain is not in the right spot ever anymore. I'm just, I've just completely lost it. We did forget to show you guys the dairy, so let's talk about that real quick. So we're selling out of the dairy every week for the most part, guys. Uh, we do have some of the cheese dip still available and some butter and a small amount of heavy cream. I just gotta double check the inventory because the, uh, the fresh beef shares are throwing off the inventory a little bit. So all of the dairy products are straight from the farm. Guys, stop emailing me questions, trying to incriminate me. 100% grass-fed A2A2, highest quality possible. Is the, is the sound of the condenser driving you guys crazy yet? Because it's driving me crazy. Whether you want milk, kefir, buttermilk, yogurt, cream, butter, fresh farm cheese, this poor kid, this poor Amish kid is slaving away for you guys and you won't support him. You won't buy the dairy, just no. No, seriously, I have no problem telling like the egg farmer, hey, look, can you cut back a little bit? Because he's doing well, but his son, which is doing the dairy for us, it's a lot of work. Honestly, he's not making like a crazy amount of money. So hopefully you guys uh, continue to support the dairy products and buy them and, uh, and we can build up something good with him because it's honestly so much work for him to do all of these products for us every week. And it's really special that he's doing them in a small amount. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we can treat him good enough and, uh, and continue to grow the business and keep the customer base. We finally made some pemmican, guys. It's a little creamier different meat used this time, but I'm sure you guys will like it. So if you guys have been waiting for the pemmican, just keep an eye on the website towards the weekend when we have time to put it away. But that is everything for this week, guys. If you would like to learn more about me and my interesting businesses, be sure to go to frank-tufano.com. Frankie Strange Meat, Frankie Strange Foods, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals, Organ Supplements. Always something going on, guys. We're looking at um, doing the, the biltong and the beef sticks with my own recipe, hopefully in a few months. I'm still looking for someone to do potato chips. Uh, still, still moving forward, guys. Haven't completely lost it yet, you know. If I do completely lose it, I will like. You guys, you guys will know. You guys will know. But thanks again for joining, guys. Just drop a like, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And we'll see you guys soon.